I have previously expressed reservations about Bernie Sanders becoming Joe Biden's labor secretary, and um, apparently the people over at Fox News, uh, ghouls such as Stuart Barney, they also don't really want Bernie Sanders to be Joe Biden's labor secretary. But for completely different reasons than I have. Take a look. Yep. Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bernie Sanders, the socialist, he wants to be labor secretary if Joe Biden gets elected. I don't really want to hear any more about this, Ashley, but you're going to tell me anyway. <laughs> yes, I am. Why not? Uh, people familiar with conversations claim Sanders has been making a push for the top job at the Labor Department, reaching out to allies on Biden's transition team, touting the need for progressive voices in a new administration. It's right up your alley, Stu. Sanders is neither <laughs> denying nor confirming the reports, but he has thrown his support behind him. Uh, Joe Biden campaigning for him in Michigan and in uh, New Hampshire. And Biden is already being pushed, as we know, to appoint progressives to senior roles in his administration. Sanders' bid could also find support from union officials. No big surprise there. Um, because, you know, he, he, he has some influence over, over those unions who also have some influence over Biden's pick for the Labor Department. Sanders has long touted making it easier, of course, for workers to organize. He wants to raise the minimum wage. He's also a big fan of socialized medicine. But others say there's zero chance of Bernie Sanders running the Labor Department with one close ally saying he's a, quote, lone ranger to a fault, unquote. Just so long as you don't tell me that Senator Elizabeth Warren is in line for the Treasury Secretary. <laughs> Just stay away from that there, Ashley, please. That would be please. cool. I won't do that. Whatever. I don't think that they realize this, but they just inadvertently made the case as to why Bernie Sanders should be Joe Biden's labor secretary. We were at the same position, albeit for different reasons, and maybe they convinced me a little bit. Uh, they said, Sanders has long touted making it easier, of course, for workers to organize. He wants to raise the minimum wage. He's also a big fan of socialized medicine. If you tell me that Bernie being labor secretary gets us closer to socialized medicine, I say, sign me the fuck up immediately, because that sounds absolutely phenomenal. So it's funny because they are so deep in their right wing neoliberal bubble that they probably do actually believe the bullshit that they're spewing. And they don't even realize that they're making the case for Bernie Sanders. The things that they're citing are incredibly popular. But also, as they say these things about Bernie Sanders, reasons why he shouldn't be Joe Biden's labor secretary, understand that they are tacitly admitting that they've been lying about Joe Biden being a radical socialist. Because all this time, the Republican Party has been very disciplined in trying to convince us that Joe Biden is basically a socialist. Some people even say he's a Marxist on the right. But by differentiating between him and Bernie Sanders, what you are telling us is that you have been lying this entire time. Not much of a shock to people who know better, but your audience has got to pick up on this. You've led your audience to believe that Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders are identical. When, you know, from my perspective as a leftist, they are diametrically opposed. Joe Biden, ideologically speaking, is more aligned with people like Stuart Varney than he is with Bernie Sanders or myself. So it's interesting because Stuart Varney, in theory, he has an ideal candidate in Joe Biden. They agree on quite a bit. Joe Biden is a neoliberal. Stuart Varney is a neoliberal. They both believe in free market solutions to policy problems. They don't believe that we should opt for more public ownership. They think that uh, everything should be uh, controlled by private multinational corporations. Governance is about less governments and uh, you know more about empowering individuals, less collectivism. Now, Joe Biden is a liberal for the most part, but he's basically a moderate Republican, right? Believes in some liberal ideas, strengthening the uh, social safety net a little bit, but making cuts when necessary. So it's shocking to me that Fox News all this time has been pretending to be so outraged about the threat that Joe Biden poses because he's a socialist when Joe Biden is not a socialist. I wish he were a socialist because if he were a socialist, I would actually be excited about him being the president. But I'm not. I'm dreading it. Joe Biden is just not Donald Trump. People are not supporting Joe Biden because uh, they love Joe Biden. They're pro Joe Biden. They think he's going to usher in this era of change and prosperity. They support Joe Biden because he's not Donald Trump. So the fact that, you know, 
Republicans are so anti-Joe Biden, it just reveals how hackish they are. Stuart Varney is a hack. Again, Joe Biden is more ideologically aligned with people like Stuart Varney than he is with Bernie Sanders. But because he has a D in front of his name, well, Stuart Varney, that's more than enough. That's more than enough. You can put a D in front of uh, Donald Trump's name, Mitt Romney's name, uh, any Republican's name, and all of a sudden, these hacks at Fox News would oppose them just because they have a D next to their name. They're quintessential hacks. This is about doing propaganda for the Republican Party because Fox News, their advertisers are the same companies and individuals who happen to be donors to the Republican Party. So they know where their bread is buttered. Hence why they push the Republican Party so relentlessly because their interests align. So, um, you know, I just had to talk about this because it's funny. These Fox News idiots, they think that they're convincing people, but the only individuals who you're convincing are the ones who already drink the Kool-Aid uh, and they're already MAGA cultists and the rich people who watch Fox Business. But, I mean, um, if a normal person tunes in and sees you talking about this, uh, sees you talking about how terrible it is that Bernie wants to make sure that wor workers can organize and they get a higher minimum wage and they get free health care, you're not going to turn people off. You're going to turn them on to the policies that Bernie Sanders is talking about. So good job. Keep talking about Bernie Sanders because, hell, you may even convince me that he should be labor secretary. Beta male.